Hey, God bless you all. I hope your day is going well. Um, I had it on my heart to encourage you. So my assumption is that some of you are feeling discouraged. Um, I know there was some there was some talk of something happening today, June 3rd. Um, I'm not making this video to put any of those people down. I just want to encourage you that if nothing happens today, um, you know what I want to do. I want to, I want to take you back to a dream that I had that the one that originally pointed me to Pentecost and started me on this journey of looking at this um, time frame. Um, I've told you this dream a couple of times, but some of you are new subscribers and some of you, um, it may be encouraging to hear it again. So in this dream, I'm in New York and I'm outside of an apartment building. And I know that soon the apartment building will be underwater. And um, it's a celebration for America. There's a lot of people and we're standing at the edge of the water and two jets fly over the, the overhead and one of them blows up and the pilot doesn't get out, doesn't escape. And then the other one blows up and the pilot um, ejects and escapes. And as the pilot's ejecting, he turns brilliant, bright, colors um, I'd probably have to review it but I want to say the colors were green, white yellow and blue and I looked up the meaning of those colors they were all um, they all had symbolism of God um, I believe I'd have to look again but anyway I believe that part was symbolic of the wise and unwise virgins and of the rapture and there were some other details in there, but um, the next part that I that I understand, um, I was standing next to I was standing next to a man, and and I told him I said the next time I see you will be in heaven, and he said. Oh, he didn't, actually he didn't say anything. He held up two fingers and then he held up his watch and he pointed to the four and then he pointed to the five. And he, um, he did it again, held up his watch, pointed to the four and then to the five. And I didn't understand what this meant. I woke up right away after that part and I felt it was important, but I didn't understand it for a while. But when I was praying on it about a week later, I felt that the two was two months and that the four and the five were a date. And the dream happened in April. So two months was led me to June and I looked at the fourth through the fifth and found that it was Pentecost. And then I started to research Pentecost and I found all these parallels between what Paul said about the rapture and about what happened on Mount Sinai when Moses gave the law to the people and Revelation chapter 4 when God's voice as a trumpet sounds and John is snatched up to heaven. There's so many parallels between those events um, and a lot of things pointing to Pentecost. And I made a whole video about that. If you're interested, I think it's called, I think I called it like evidence of Pentecost or something like that. You can find it in my, um, under the history of my videos, I'm sure. But, <clears throat> but when looking at the, the date of Pentecost, what I wanted to say is, so in that dream, I was pointed to the fourth through the fifth. So that could either mean, you know, if I'm right about the interpretation I don't know what else it could mean, so I think I'm probably right, but I'm human, so I make mistakes. But if I'm right, then um, 
the fourth in the U.S. Um, would be the fifth in Israel as of 2 p.m. So after 2 p.m. on the fourth, um, well, where I'm at, I'm on the West Coast. It's probably different where you're at, but after 2 p.m. on the West Coast in Israel, it's, um, it's the next day, so it would be the fifth. So that dream could have been saying um, it would be the fourth in the U.S. and the fifth in Israel. Or it could have been saying like the, the night of the fourth turning into the fifth. Um, but um, that's, the day, that's what I was pointed to in the dream. And I was thinking about the fact that Enoch, well... I say facts. I think it probably is true, but it's Jewish tradition that Enoch was both born and raptured on Pentecost. And many scholars see Enoch as uh, as a picture of the church. Um, and we know the church was born on Pentecost, and I guess we'll see if the church is raptured on Pentecost. But... Um, but he was exactly 365 years old when he died. And I guess you, sh you have to wonder to yourself why uh, God would choose to have him live exactly 365 years. And um, I think that's to point out to us that, um, to point us to our calendar rather than to the Jewish calendar. Because the Jewish calendar is 360. He could have had Enoch live 360 years, but he didn't. It was 365. And, um, and that's how our calendar works. A year is 365 days. So I think when looking at um, the time frame for the church for, for Pentecost, we should be looking at um, our calendar. We should be looking at when Pentecost falls on, on our calendar. I think... I think um, once the church age ends and God turns his eyes back to Israel, that will be different. But for now, I think that's what we should be looking at. So um, my heart is, is not on today. It could happen today. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> um, it could happen today. It, it doesn't have to happen on Pentecost. It can happen whenever God wants it to happen. It's not what I'm saying, but I'm just telling you that um, what my high watch, my high watch is, this whole week is a high watch for me, but the highest point of my watch is the fourth going into the fifth. That's So the only reason I'm telling you that is because for those of you who really believe that it's today, if it doesn't happen today, I don't want you to get discouraged and let your guard down and then everything happens tomorrow or the next day. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure that you just stay on high alert, that's all. Okay? Don't be discouraged. Um, I think we're in the right season. I think there's a lot of things God has pointed us to. A lot of things about this time frame. And, um, you know, today I felt, I was thinking about the 4th through the 5th. I felt led to um, Psalm chapter 45. And um, it's entitled, A Song for Messiah and His Bride. And so I'm just going to read it to you. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of the truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. 
whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. Thy virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy feathers shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. All right, guys, be encouraged. The king is coming soon. The wedding day is upon us. We're in the season. Keep looking up and stay on watch. I'll see you soon. God bless you.